what's going to be a strong force when the rebound is. We talked about that before. Mm-hmm. I mean, they have two guys that are significantly bigger than mm-hmm. even our tallest guy. Uh, from, a, from a game plan standpoint, what was, what was the plan to try to come back? Yeah, we knew we, you know, we knew that was a deficit for us. We thought we were going to be able to use that to our advantage on the offensive end, and, and we did in the first half by attacking um, and and trying to go, you know, with our more athletic four men against their bigger four men. Um, you know, just it seemed like every ball that bounced off the rim landed in their hands. Um, if there was a ball on the floor, it, it seemed to get to them. So, you know, I, I was disappointed. That, that we weren't kind of making our own breaks there. You know, sometimes you got to create your own good fortune. Uh, and it just, you know, it's just like the ball would bounce to them. And a lot of it, you know, those are big bodies. And the ball's falling, you know, they're tipping it and, and it's getting to their guys. And um, we work a lot on trying to, you know, box out but not just hold right there. you got to create some space. And we didn't do that very well tonight. And with those big guys, you, you've got to move them. And let's be honest, I mean, there's 6'9", two guys 6'9", one 6'7". Uh, you know, and they're, they're 50, 60 pounds bigger than my guys under there. So um, sometimes you don't, you know, you, you just don't uh, get the ball bouncing your way. Teams were going back and forth at the beginning of the half, but you really closed out that first half. Strong, really, in my opinion, for the first time, Yeah, I think we just, you know, we were were putting together some stops and and getting some offense. You know, Chase play at the end of the half where we get a, you know, we we get a rebound and put it back in. And, and, um, you know, that was a lot of energy and and excitement, you know, and and we knew coming out of the half, you know, I mentioned it at at halftime, you know, with Nate, these guys, they come out of the half and they're like a different team. And they shoot the ball well. I mean, they ridiculously tonight, they shot, you know, 60% from the floor, 50 from three. I think there was a stretch where they were five of six from three, you know, and it's like part of that was uh, was because we we weren't where we were supposed to be with our hands up, and most of it was just they just made good plays. So, um, you know, I thought uh, the first you know the first couple of possessions of the second half I felt pretty good. You know, we got Ray going to the rack, got the and one there, and and you know we just made good plays, and then all of a sudden they made a couple of shots. And, and our guys, you know, our young guys got a little nervous. And next thing you know, we're down. And all of a sudden, you know, we couldn't get, you know, if they were giving away points for throwing it out of bounds, we couldn't have gotten it out of bounds to score. I mean, we just couldn't, we, we couldn't execute like we did in the first half. And, um, you know, we kind of got away as a team from what we said we wanted to do and attacking. We started settling. And, uh, you know, when, when you miss, it's hard to get those rebounds against those guys in there. Do you think a little bit of- Yeah, yeah, I think that's a try a difficult shot against three guys yep. in the lane. No, I think I think that's a good uh, a good way to look at it. Um, you know, again, our youth they're not they've not been in a rivalry game like this with a crowd like that and and all the excitement and they've had success and all of a sudden the other team is punching back and uh, tonight we didn't stand in there and take it. You know, we kind of crumbled a little bit and um, yeah, I think panic's a good word and and you know I'm looking at a stat sheet and right in the middle of it I got three freshmen scoring 38 of our 59 points. Uh, you know, with um, seven of our 13 assists and uh, for five of our 22 rebounds, including three of our 10 offensive rebounds, you know, so um, four, four of our 10 offensive rebounds. So, you know, we're in that position where we're having to learn on the job with some young guys, a lot of talent, but the other team just made better plays and, and got confidence. And, uh, you know, we, we'll we be okay. We just got to, you know, like these guys said, they said it well. I mean, they I, I didn't put those words in their mouths. You know, they're they're saying the things that they're hearing from our staff, so that makes me feel good. We're we're gonna be okay. Future's bright. Look forward from this game. What are what are some things you're gonna take from this one to, to build into the next one? Yeah, I think we have to uh, you know, we gotta get better physically. I, I looked out there tonight and we were a little bit soft physically. Um, so our conditioning has fallen off a little bit, you know, three weeks out. Um and so, you know, we don't play till Saturday. So I told them, I said, expect a very difficult physical first part of the week. And, um, you know, so hopefully they'll come in ready to work. And then, you know, we just, we just, we have to execute. You know, we played, de- that's the best half of defense we've played in a long time, a whole half of defense. And then we turned around in the second half and didn't play very good at all. And um, 
but we have to be consistent. You know, I tell them you know, our, our only consistency is we're inconsistent. And, and you know, you, I think you heard Dustin reference that we got to be more consistent. And that's, that's part of learning on the job and, and learning how to, you know, to take the hits and take the runs and make your own and come back. And, um, you know, I think as we prepare, you know, Tacoa is going to come in. They beat us this year. And, and again, this is another veteran team that uh, has some seniors who are making really good plays and uh, they have confidence and you know we need to we need to grab some of that confidence and play consistently well and and you know just and get a win you know these guys haven't it's been a long time since they've felt a w so we're at home and the crowd was fantastic tonight we hope we'll have another great one on saturday night against Dakota. but um you know we it's gonna be a good week of practice even though it is a Yeah, I mean, I walked in the gym tonight, you know, right after the ladies game, and it was like, you know, the energy was up. You just feel it, you know, and, and when, you know, these guys have never experienced that. You know, we haven't had a, a large crowd yet, and, and tonight was that first one. And, you know, I thought we responded pretty well. A um, little few nerves out there, but, you know, they, the crowd makes such a difference because it's it, it gives our guys some energy to feed off of, and they get excited when we make a shot or get a stop or – and, and that's so important to the game of basketball. That helps us making runs and, and the crowd can, you know, be loud and make it difficult for the other team and help us to stop their runs. And so, um, you know, tonight was great. Hope we can keep it up second semester.